there are two types of chlamydia and gonorrhea testing tools available, a urine collection pot and a sterile vaginal swab, both manufactured by the doctor's laboratory or TDL as they are more widely known. Please note, vaginal swabs do bear an expiry which should be checked by every provider just prior to dispensing. Instructions on the use of urine collection tools are as follows. First, thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water and dry. Unpack the testing kit. Write your full name and date of birth on the label named urine supplied in your pack. Affix the label by placing the tube in the middle of the label and wrapping the label around the tube. Then, squeeze the sides of the urine collection box to expand it. The box has a plastic lining inside to contain the urine. Take care not to damage or puncture the lining. Next, collect the first part of the urine stream into the urine collection box until it is half full. Please allow two hours since last urination for accurate results. Unscrew the lid of the sample tube and carefully fill the urine sample tube from the urine collection box, taking care not to get liquid on the outer of the sample bottle. Screw the lid of the sample tube tightly, place the tube into the protective packing wallet and close firmly. Vaginal swab instructions are as follows. First, wash hands with soap and water, rinse and dry. Then remove the swab from tube. Do not use if the seal is broken and avoid touching the tip of the swab or laying it on any surfaces. Carefully insert the swab no more than 2 inches into the vagina and rotate the swab for 10 to 15 seconds around the inside of the vagina. Next, return the swab to the tube and tightly secure the cap. Write your full name and date of birth on the label named vaginal supplied in your pack. Affix the label by placing the tube in the middle of the label and wrapping the label around the tube. Specimens must be accompanied by a pathology request form, which should be completed in block capitals for optimal legibility in order to reduce the possibility of errors along the processing and results pathway. It is critical that all fields be completed. Once sample and form are ready, place them both inside the green polyvinyl bag enclosed with each screening tool. Seal the bag and post. Each bag bears a first class postmark and is addressed to the TDL Processing Laboratory. Results are processed within three working days. Patients with a negative result will receive a confirmation text with their status. Patients with positive results will receive a text instructing them to contact the Sexual Health Office. Once contact has been made, the Sexual Health Office will deliver results and make a referral to a treatment outlet, either a local pharmacy or a sexual health hub.